Senior congressional correspondent Chad Pergram with more on how the Bowman drama is playing out. Whoa, that was a quick one. Uh, he is censured. Explain to our viewers exactly what censure means. I know it's, you know, the most serious just short of expulsion. But really, it's a slap on the wrist because he still has his job. He doesn't get kicked out. That's right. He stood in the well of the House just a couple of moments ago and faced Mike Johnson, uh, who announced that he had been censured. That's it. Uh, they don't take you to the principal's office. Uh, they don't handcuff you. It's just read before the House floor. Now, Democrats say Republicans are coming after Bowman because the GOP lacks an agenda or major accomplishments. Bowman says he apologized for his mistake as he rushed to make a vote on the House floor. Listen. I immediately took responsibility and accountability for my actions and pled guilty. Immediately. The legal process on this matter has played out. In no way did I obstruct official proceedings. Bowman said he went before the Capitol Police in a court of law. The top Democrat on the House Rules Committee, Jim McGovern, called the censure, quote, stupid. But Republicans argue that Bowman made a big mistake and should face punishment. Well, you know what's profoundly stupid is an adult man who has been elected as a member of Congress, held to a high esteem, pulling a fire alarm like a child, like a child, like a ta throwing a tantrum. Democrats argue that Republicans are wasting time censuring members, especially after the censures of Adam Schiff and Rashida Tlaib earlier this year. Going after Democrats repeatedly, week after week after week, because you have nothing better to do, then I volunteer. Censure me next. Censure me next. That's, that's, that's how worthless your censure Effort is. Now, we just got the vote total after the censure of Jamal Bowman. The vote 214 to 191, with five members voting present. Julie? All right. Thank you very much for staying on top of this for us. Of course, as always, Chad Program. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.